a wondrous and warm Wednesday to everyone. It is week seven of WWW. So guess what? Our word for today is seven. Now in layman's terms, the definition of seven is a number that is equivalent to the sum of three and four, one more than six or three less than 10. But today, I want to tell you about the significance of the number seven. In biblical numerology, seven symbolizes completion or perfection. God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh. Additionally, there are seven churches in the book of Revelation, seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls. The number seven is quite significant in the Bible, appearing over, get this, over 700 times throughout both the Old and New Testaments. The number seven is also associated with important biblical figures, such as the seven deacons chosen by the apostles and the seven spirits of God mentioned in Revelation. It is therefore believed that the number seven represents divine intervention or spiritual completeness. Let us now focus on some biblical use of the word seven. Elisha sent a messenger to say to him, go, wash yourself seven times in the Jordan and your flesh will be restored and you will be cleansed. I saw in heaven, another great and marvelous sign, seven angels with the seven last plagues, last because with them God's wrath is completed, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. John to the seven churches in the province of Asia. Grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne. Seven days from today, I will be on this platform again. So, see you next week, same time, same place, same motive, offering you a word to the wise.